Hi there and welcome to Go on Shaw TV. I'm Christy Pick and today we are down at the Stampede Grounds because the check wagons were just recently in town. We're going to catch up with one of the drivers, Cody McCraw, to find out how things are going in the sport this season. Well, as they set off the top, Chuck Wagons were here this past weekend, and what excitement it was. But before he left town, I caught up with Cody McCurra. He's with me right now. He's one of the Chuck Wagon drivers. And uh, Cody, welcome to Medicine Hat. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We really enjoy being here. I, uh, I enjoy the town, enjoy the city, and, and the racetrack. Now, uh, off camera, I found out that you are actually from my hometown, so nice to have hometown flavor <laughs> as part of the show in Medicine Hat of all places. We're from BC. Yeah. Um, Cody, tell me a little bit about the sport, first of all, and, and what chuck wagon driving is, is all about, because uh, it's kind of crazy out there. Uh, yeah, it gets crazy at times. I mean, uh, chuck wagon racing, I guess it's, uh, you, you would call it an extreme sport. Uh, it started back uh, back in the old days. Uh, obviously, you know it originated the Calgary Stampede, but you know before that, the uh, the camp cooks would uh, make little wagers. I don't know for a bottle of whiskey or a hat or whatever, and see who could pack up camp fastest and race to the next location and set up. And that's kind of how it evolved from, or what it evolved from, I guess. Okay, so for us city folk, uh, I'm not a cowgirl at all, uh, the horses. Now, I, I love the stampede, I love going to these things, but what's the difference between these horses and what you would see, say, for cattle roping or something like that? So these horses are thoroughbred uh, race horses right off the track, so it's strictly the breed. Um, these these are a lot larger horse. Uh, they're, I would say, uh, a more high-strung horse. Uh, they're built to run. Uh, they're built to run longer distances. Um, I mean, for ranching and, and rodeo horses, you got your quarter horses. And I mean, they're a stockier build. They're lower to the ground. They're built to uh, to withstand the roping of a of a steer or whatnot and, and to jerk it around. These guys just aren't built that way. Okay, you've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I understand at 10 years old, you were a champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, in BC, we had uh, what they call junior chariots. Uh, so it was just two horses on a chariot. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we had a, just a little team of ponies. It was it was in the pony chuck wagons and chariots. And, and uh, we went to Chilliwack, BC and at 10, I won the BC Junior <laughs> Championships. Yeah. So, so in rodeo, the equivalent would be like mutton busting. Uh, yeah, I would say mutton busting or steer riding. Okay, I guess okay. in in rodeo, it'd be more like steer riding. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's where you where you get your start, I guess. Why do you love it? Uh, it's just been in our family for for a lot of years. I mean, uh, when you train and uh, when you buy the horse off the track and you break them to drive and you train them and you put all this work into them, I mean, there's a lot of time and effort from not only yourself but friends family sponsors and then you go and you see how the horses perform and they're truly running their hearts out for you i mean that's that's the rewarding part of it right so uh we are in your pop-up barn which is very <laughs> cool a little bit earlier on today and uh you you were going to head out on the track with the horses and they were kind of shaking a little bit with i understand excitement yeah each horse has their own little idiosyncrasy right uh, some kind of shake a little bit nervous they once that harness starts rattling they know uh, that they're going to the track uh, we have a routine in the evenings you know we let uh, we let our horses out um, the ones that are running are only out for about a half hour and they get a bath and as soon as the, the ones that are experienced and, and have done it lots once they get that bath they know, oh, it's my turn to go. <laughs> so, I mean, some shake a little bit. Some some of them almost fall asleep. Others okay. pace a bit. They all have their different ways of getting ready, but that's just their getting their game face on. Athletes in their own right. Cody, I want to keep you around because later in the show, I want to hear about the actual tour uh, that you guys do each summer. Uh, it's a long summer for you guys racing out there. So I'm going to keep you around, okay? Sure, sounds great. All right, stay tuned. We have a whole lot more here on Go. Once again, we are talking all about check wagons. They were here this past weekend. I'm joined by one of the drivers, Cody McCurra. And uh, Cody, you guys have a long summer of the WPCA Tour. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, we do. We start up in Grand Prairie, um, it, usually at the end of May, uh, beginning of June. The calendar's uh, pushed back a little bit this year. And uh, once we start there, we rattle off uh, 10, 10 shows. So it's 10 different venues that we go to. 
uh, with two weekends that are kind of our break weekend. So we just, uh, after Grand Prairie, had the weekend off, and now we'll go right through Saskatoon, Medicine Hat, High River, Panoka, Calgary, Bonneville, and Strathmore. And then we have a weekend off and we head up to Dawson Creek and Rocky Mountain Hills. Okay, that's a lot of travel. You guys have, what, 18 horses that you travel with? Uh, yeah, we carry 18. There's some guys that are carrying 20 to 22, wow. others, you know, around the 15, 16. So it's anywhere, I would say, between uh, 15 and 22 that uh, each okay. guy is hauling, yeah. You're traveling with your dad here, uh, family sport, family summer, <laughs> not really vacation, I guess. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah it's uh, like I say, it's an endurance test. Um, yeah, my wife would argue with you if we called it a vacation for sure, but uh, we get to go to lots of different uh, towns. Um, as, you, as you can see, uh, it's a lot of work. I mean, it takes up a lot of our day, but we try and um, I am trying to uh, focus on doing some other stuff at these venues when we go to them and uh, with the family and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it, it's a it's a endurance like it's it's. Each, each race, I mean, is a little battle, um, but for points and whatnot throughout the whole season, I mean, it's a it's a long test, right? And, and it's about keeping the horses healthy and keeping them running for you. Always a good crowd out at the, the chuck wagons, and you and I were talking earlier, and I asked you, is this more of um, a performance for you, or is it more of a race? Yeah, it's a race for the drivers. I mean, we're competing for points. We're competing competing for some money um, we're also competing to get to the to Calgary Stampede um, I mean our points help qualify us for the Calgary Stampede there's other uh, stipulations for getting into Calgary as well but I mean if you're running tough and and uh, and clean and driving safe I mean that's that's the people they want there so uh, there's uh, there, there, it's a performance and a show for the crowd, uh, but for us back here, it's a competition. Okay, I, I have to ask the question. You're in Medicine Hat. Uh, how is the track here compared to other places? Uh, you know, the track's a pretty good track, um, uh, but here it's a shorter track. So right. we're going to run this track in, uh, shoot, I didn't rush up on my stats, but I think the track record is about a 58 or 59 seconds. Um, probably average running time is going to be a minute, minute and one. Uh, other venues we go to is a five-eighths of a mile track okay. where we're running 116s to 120s. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a short track, so what you'll see is the guys that barrel real hard in the, in the infield on these short tracks, they seem to do well, right? The other fellows that have a lot of run and, uh, and like the heavier going or longer going, they may not do so well on these tracks, right? Okay, well, Cody, we wish you all the best this season. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank it was a you. Pleasure. All right, Half Mile Hell was in town this past weekend. Thanks to Cody for joining us. Stay tuned. We have a little more here on Go. Well, that is it for our show today. A big thank you to Cody for hanging out with us today, talking all about Chuck Wagon Racing. If you want some more information on the WPCA, you can check them out online. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Go. Shaw TV Land. Hey, <laughs> Honda Land. For all you Grays fans. It might hurt you. No. The Elm Street School. I thought I was gonna be more brave.